Workers at a local radio station believe they've been scammed out of thousands of dollars by a so-called bishop in Virginia. Good evening, I'm Connor Board. And I'm Mike Black. The man apparently owes money to people all across Virginia, and now he struck Huntsville. Renata DiGregorio investigated, and she joins us now. Renata? Bishop Kendrick Turner allegedly bought thousands of dollars worth of airtime from Huntsville Gospel Station WDJL. The workers there say they never saw a dime. I learned from our sister station in Virginia this has been the story with Turner for more than a decade. Keep it right here on 1000 AM where Jesus is our joy. WDJL owner Dorothy Sandifer claims Bishop Kendrick Turner agreed to a three-year contract and two commercials with her radio station. If you want to witness the power of God, call Apostle Kendrick Turner. But the payment never came. And I just assumed that him being an apostle, a man of God, that he would keep his word. After allegedly giving them the runaround promising payment, Turner blocked the station's number. He owes them more than $3,000, a big hit to the small station. Seven days a week is a lot. It's a, it's a lot. Most people, you know, they might buy a good contract for a year and it may be like um, coming on um, once a week. So yeah, this was major and I was excited. How many hours of work would you say you put into all the contracts? I would say over 40 hours of work. According to Virginia court documents, Turner owes thousands of dollars in judgments to people who took him to court, including almost 14,000 in Virginia Beach alone. WZDX News' sister station in Portsmouth has reported multiple incidents similar to the gospel stations. Sandifer plans on taking the same route with a lawyer, but says she's still holding on to hope. I hope that he will repent and confess and do what's right and make it right with God and the people that he has really hurt. Turner could not be reached and did not respond to multiple attempts to contact him. You can hear what a reverend who works at the station has to say about all of this. Just head to our Rocket City Now app. Putting the Valley First, Renata Gregorio, WZDX News.